Hello everyone, my name is Retroboy03, and welcome to part one of the brand new Let's Play series I'll be doing on my channel. And here I'll be playing the LEGO Ninjago Tournament app, released in 2015 to coincide with the fourth season of Ninjago, the Tournament of Elements. And well, just getting into this, it's kind of like a, a top-down fighting game. Honestly, like, it's pretty fun. I made a new profile for this video, and if you're wondering why I already have 75 studs, 75,000, rather, it's because at the beginning of each day when you open up the game, you get a free prize draw to draw either a red brick extra or some studs. So anyway, just getting straight into this. No idea what that said, but I kind of already know how to play. I'm just doing the... I'm just doing the tutorial because I have to, and I want to show you how the game begins. So in the CN, you can kind of see some of the moves that you can perform in this game. I mean, like, there isn't much to talk about right now, I'm just doing the tutorial. Blocking, I've never used that when I play. Because, I mean, like, if they turn red when they're about to attack, so as long as you either jump out of the way, because I never have to really dodge that. You can just jump to automatically dodge. So you either hit them and it'll knock them out of their animation, or you could just. Or you could just jump away, because again, they can't attack you while they're in the air. I'm just trying to see what I can smash to get studs. So I believe that that's everything. Well, I mean, I did just get this. Oh crud, this guy has a shield. Chen's Island Arena. In this episode, since we had to be him in the tutorial, I'll just play as Lloyd, plus he already has some levels on him. Well, I mean, not levels, but I mean, he has a bit of... Okay, so what are the challenges? I mean, defeat 15 enemies with boost, can't do that. Defeat 10 bosses, we're not gonna have time for that. Yet. And defeat Turner without losing 3 hearts. Okay. Well, I mean, I might kind of, like record two videos like as soon as I'm done with this one immediately start recording the next one to have a longer session I don't know I feel so I'm, I'll do that with later ones yeah yeah I'll do that with later videos for this video I more just kind of want to just get into the game and show you what it's all about so yeah I'm, I mean it, the, the game gets a lot more interesting obviously once you get further on and there are more than one enemy at a time like it's entirely possible to get to a point where there are like 30 enemies on the screen at one time, and it's honestly pretty impressive that the game doesn't kind of screw up and kind of explode. No idea what I'm Ah, Shade, the Master of Shadows. Hey, um, you don't look as cool as the minifig versions you did before.
I did it. I killed him dead. If you're going for an archer, it's important to go for the archers while they're... Make sure to jump and back them, because obviously, again, they can't hit you while you're in the air. This is kind of a... I apologize for the dog song. You know, this is just one of the random events that can occur where people will drop either bombs or crates. Turner will get to beat one of our goals. session for an hour, which I really like, because, like, in terms of mobile games, it, it's, like, a really good one to, like, last a while, like, if you have a long trip to go on. Special moves aren't slowed down when you're covered in ice. That does help. Definitely. Okay, here's some some animatronics. I have finally some villains from this season, including Eyesore. I gotta say, he looks a lot better, that more accurate to his character there than he did in the um, what was it? The um, the set he came in. What was it? Um, Oh, right, the, um, the, the new version of the Ultrasonic Raider, where he had no tail, and also no mohawk, and also no jacket. Not the best figure I got. Him. As you can see, it's not very difficult to find where the Pale Man is. I mean, like, that's just what he's called here, apparently. I mean, like, I, do I guess that's his official name, because, I mean, I know that in... He came in one of the sets for the Ultra Agents line, and that he was called Invisible, but with a Z. <laughs> and, but I'm pretty sure that in the episode, he, in, this, in the actual series, he was called Pale Man. If I remember correctly, John Bonham was a pale man, a pale man, not 
that he was hanging out. I'd be wrong about that, though. You know, I'm just This is probably one of the more fun ones since it just drops in a ton of enemies. Which is, again, I, I actually think that's pretty awesome. Another good thing for is to constantly weave between enemies, never spend too long fighting a single one or the archers can pick you up. But so here you have Ronin, one of the more um epic and difficult, I guess, bosses in the game. Since landmines, I mean like if you get if you end up in the center of those, it's an insta-death, even if you have full health. I mean heck, there's even an you can even level up to get more hearts, and even then it's still an insta-death. By the way, I'm probably gonna end this off after this boss fight, just kind of to show you how a few things work, including the levels. So yeah, so, by the way, you don't have to die or anything to, um... You don't have to die or anything in order to go back to the menu, you just have to go into the pause and then quit. So as you can see, there are bonuses you get for bosses, waves, enemies, etc. Awesome! Oh and... Oh and cool, we, we got two tokens, but wait a minute, this makes no sense, because, uh... You get two tokens for defeating a single boss, you get, um, one token for defeating all of them. Makes sense to me! So as you can see, we have nearly leveled up to level 3, and now we ha got an extra heart and we do more damage. Next time, the third combo automatically breaks through their shields, then our special meter fills twice as fast, and then our fourth combo hit breaks their block and it's even worse. I'm confused here. Was that like their third combo hit breaks through mine instead of two? I don't know. I don't know what this means. I have no idea what this means. This seems worse, but anyway. But then I get a. But then you get a golden weapon, so that's cool. As in a weapon made of gold, not a golden weapon. And we don't, then we can also just go here in order to flip our tokens to see what we get for the next episode. Another seventy-five thousand studs and seventy-five thousand more studs. And if you're curious, the last area over here, the Temple Gallery, is, 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 I'll just, you'll see when it loads. It's not an area, it's just an, it's just where you can view all of, a lot of the sets from the Tournament of Elements wave. And I do kind of like it, because, like, obviously, just like with the Batman movie app, though I didn't show this thing in that, but, um... They made all these extra renders that they really didn't have to, because, like, with the Batman movie and this one, they had a few for gameplay, but most of these, like the Electromech and Lloyd's Jungle Raider, were made specifically for this section. So that's pretty awesome, in my opinion. So, I think this is a good place to leave off. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye bye